I don't know quite what it is, but there's something about me that makes animals and men afraid. Hey guys, what's up? Ellie Shadowly here and today I'm taking on the Breed Out the Weird challenge in The Sims 4. The aim of this challenge is to take a weird sim and breed it until finally through the generations, the offspring of said weird sim don't look weird anymore. So the first thing we have to do is find a weird sim. So we are going to go to the gallery of amazing creations that people far more talented than I have created and I'm going to type in weird and I have unearthed a treasure trove of weird sims. Wow, okay. Those eyes are gonna haunt the family genetics for generations. Let's favorite her. This bear looks like an avocado. Wait, it is an avocado. <laughs> These sims are so weird, they don't even look human. They basically look like cartoon characters. I think I'm gonna go for this one with the red skin because I think that's gonna be the hardest to breed out. So let's add her to my world. Oh my God, her name is Esther Steinviedel. I love it. What a cute name. Ah. Oh no, she's an old lady. <laughs> I can't even breed her. Can we get some magic in here to reverse age her? Oh, now I can see the old lady hunch. Whoops. So I'm gonna change her into an adult. It did change her hair slightly, but that's okay because I actually wanted to edit her a little bit anyway. Her outfit is gorgeous and everything, but I thought we could add a few more random elements. So I am going to randomize it. This outfit has to be something really special to distract from what's going on everywhere else. So I'm going to randomize it three times and whatever it lands on is what she's gonna have to wear. So one, oh no, two, or worse, Three. Oh no. Well, it's definitely distracting. Mm. Okay, that is Esther, our weird sim to start this challenge with. So let's move her in. Oh my gosh, how cute is this house? And kind of weird, perfect for her. So let's have a little explore. We've got a beautiful garden where she could... Why is there a skeleton right there? I don't know, but I'm kind of digging it. Let's check out the inside. Oh, how cute. First of all, this entranceway is adorable. Her bedroom is kind of the first thing you see when you walk in, which is a little bit weird. And then behind this adorable door is a cute little bathroom. And then over here, we have the kitchen. Ah, oh, I'm so happy with this house. It's absolutely adorable. So I guess we'd better get started with the challenge. So it looks like she is is a fan of painting. So if we buy her an easel, then this is how she can make money to fund her breeding program. I don't know. <laughs> Where should we put the easel? Oh, outside in the garden. So let's see just how good at painting she really is. Oh my gosh. Is that how she walks? No. Why can't she just be even slightly normal? Oh, you know what? She's actually kind of good at painting. Let's paint from reference. I would like to paint this little guy right here. This is gonna be a masterpiece. Okay, that's actually kind of ugly. <laughs> Maybe she's getting bored of painting. Maybe she just wants to get out there and get breeding. So let's put on her beautiful everyday outfit and head out in search of a breeding partner. Okay, there are a few options. We could hit up the restaurant, the cafe, the nightclub, or the vet clinic. Actually, I love a guy that loves animals, so that's where we're going. I probably should have brought an animal with me. That would have made this whole thing slightly less weird. Are there even any dude vets? What the heck? Okay, slight issue. The vets are all women. Look, there's a cat right here. Okay, let's just pick this up and I'm gonna just pretend this cat is mine. Why don't pets like me? Okay, we'll try this dog instead. Why do these animals keep running away from me? Oh, I'm just gonna have to go in empty handed. I'm just gonna hang out in the waiting room. This dude is not wearing any clothes. I think I'll just take a seat right here and wait for his appointment to end. Oh, what a cute little dog. I could see myself being that dog's mama. Is it snowing? <gasps> it's meant to be. I'm gonna introduce myself. One does have to question why he's not wearing any clothes though. This has not gone to a good start. Let's just give him some money. I've got a gift for you. It's money. Can I buy your love? Okay, this is not going well. I don't know quite what it is, but there's something about me that makes animals and men afraid. Oh, hello, sir. Could this be a match made in heaven? I mean, he's half in the wall, so he's come to sit next to me. He loves me. <laughs> Okay, this might be a little too soon, but I'm just gonna go in for the flirt. We haven't got the time to waste here. Yes. Oh, is this his dog? Cute. 
Wait, what's with all the skeletal people? Where am I? I like that dog. I think today has been a successful recon mission. We found some suitable candidates for the first stage of our breeding program. So I'm going to cook up a meal in the kitchen and invite him over. I'm making vegetarian dumplings in case he's like a vegan or something. So let's give him a call, Nixon Lima. Tonight he'll be sampling my dumplings. Oh my gosh, there he is. Hello. Wait, what? What the heck? He just ran away! No! He saw my house and he ran? That's the least weird thing about me! Come back! Welcome to my beautiful home. Do my dumplings interest you at all? Okay, I forgot to make sure if he was single. Perhaps we should do that. Oh my gosh, please be single. You're my only hope! He is single! Thank goodness, because I really didn't have a contingency plan. Well, this has been a wonderful first date, but I am exhausted. So, let's see if we can get a goodnight kiss from him before he leaves. Oh. <gasps> Wait, what happened? Okay, I came on too strong. I get it. How about you just chill out there while I go to the toilet before I pee myself? Okay, he's officially, he ran away. I disappeared for a second and he ran away. I guess that's the end of the date. Maybe today we should try something different. <gasps> oh, Jordan. Hello there. I heard there's someone famous over at the lounge. Want to check it out? <gasps> a date with another man? What could possibly go wrong? Wow, Jordan, you look different in clothes. Oh, this must be the celebrity. 12 seconds later. Oh my gosh, everyone's going crazy over this stupid celebrity. He's stolen my date from me. Okay, let's see if this guy is romantically interested in Esther. Okay, maybe not. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Esther has feelings, you know, and you've hurt them. So I guess I was right. Nixon is my only hope at romance. So let's invite him over again. Here he is. Welcome to my home. Okay, why don't we go swimming? You get to see me in my swimsuit, Nixon. Are you excited? Oh, he's very excited. He's very eager. What an eager beaver. Okay, this is kind of a small pool. <laughs> There's not really much space for swimming. Oh, my swimsuit is a full on outfit. Now I look like a freak. This is not as romantic as I thought it would be, actually. I j stop, please. Oh, this is actually her cutest look so far. Okay, let's reattempt the flirt. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, he liked it though. Unexpected. <gasps> Skeletons are her type. That's why she's got one in the garden. Wow, we're so cute together. It just goes to show you that there's somebody out there for everybody. So let's make this baby happen. <gasps> oh my gosh, they're gonna do it. Oh, it's happening. Okay, bye bye now. You can go now. She just let out the rankest fart. What is wrong with you, Esther? You might not be pregnant. We might need to do this again. You can't scare him off now. So let's take a pregnancy test. Yes! Hopefully it's slightly less weird than her. Now let's just speed through time until the baby is born. Okay, update. Esther is quite pregnant now. Oh my gosh, he's just coming to my house. What is he doing here? Okay, I did not invite him here. I also didn't announce the pregnancy yet. So, surprise. Touch it. Yes, <gasps> his hands went right in there. I invited you to feel the belly, not birth the baby. Get this baby out of me already. I am ready to pop. Oh, it's time. I'm having this baby right now. She's birthing it straight into the cot. Here it comes. I don't know how this has happened. I don't know how he and she made a baby that looks like that, but I just hope she grows up pretty. You're gonna be adorable, right? Let's see what she looks like. Oh, there's the red skin. So Clara looks like quite a normal toddler for now, but I'm not sure what she's gonna look like when all her features grow in. Let's age her up and see. So when she wakes up in the morning, we're gonna have a little birthday party for her and age her up very quickly. It's time. Let's see what offspring we have produced. Again, she looks kind of normal except for the red skin. Now we're gonna go a little bit crazy here and age her up again into a teen. So we'll finally get to see some of her features come through. <gasps> Oh no! Or should I say, oh no's! There's barely any difference. 
Although we have had some progress. She still looks like a cartoon character though. So now that Clara is an adult, I'm going to send her out into the world to continue the breeding program. So, <laughs> even though her mother was so successful finding a nice chap at the vet clinic, that is kind of weird. So we are instead going to go to the mall. Oh my gosh, this place is crazy. They have everything here. Okay, there are no suitable candidates here. That's her dad. It's time to leave this place. So maybe we'll check out next door, which is a nightclub. I don't want to take my mom or dad with me, no. And of course, she's the first one here. Well, I guess I'll get my dance on. Wait, I can't get in? He's letting other people in and not me. Who needs to get in the club when the bouncer looks like this? Am I right? He seems like a lovely young man. And he can't run away because he has to stay here to work. Wait. Oh my gosh. He just disappeared. Well, you could call that a disaster. I would. Let's see if we can invite over the bouncer. Marcus Flex. I only hope his genes are as strong as his muscles appear to be. <gasps> Here he is. We'll follow the same dating ritual as her mother passed on to her. Oh, and of course he's run away. Oh no, Esther, get out of here, stop. Ew, why are you being so creepy, girl? Sorry about my embarrassing mother. Where are you going? Wait, what, what are you doing, dude? Come back, we need to try for a baby. What do you say? Yeah. yeah! We're gonna do it! Oh no, this is Esther's bed! Oh, I'm so sorry, Esther. Do not come in the house right now. Oh no, she's creeping in! Stop! Don't look! Oh no! Get out of there! Now, let's see if she is prego with an ego. What? <gasps> she is! This house is about to get real crowded. Marcus, you're having a baby. Three days later. Okay, today is the day. The baby is coming. Oh. It's a girl. I'm gonna call this one Ingrid. Oh my goodness, not again. Wait, this one makes more sense. <laughs> oh. She looks like she's gonna be beautiful. What does she look like? <gasps> I hope she doesn't grow up with the nose. So now all we have to do is start baking some cakes. Get her aged up. Oh, she's cute. She seems to have got her fashion sense from her mum. So let's age her up again into a teen. <gasps> no! What the heck? Oh my gosh, the women of this family cannot wear glasses. They just don't work. So now that she is an adult, we should probably age up Esther as well. She would definitely be an old lady at this point. Happy birthday, Esther. Wow, she looks kind of the same. And I guess now it's time to move her out to a retirement home. Sorry, Esther. There's no room for you here in the weird house anymore. So she is moving in with the other old ladies in Newcrest. Oh my gosh, what is that? Why does Clara have demon wings in the shower? Oh my gosh. So clearly we have not been successful in breeding out the weird. I will not be happy until glasses sit comfortably on the face of the Steinbeetle women. So uh, today, let's go and visit Granny Esther in the old retirement home called Alien Witch Vampire. Oh my gosh, cute house. I would love to retire and die here. <gasps> Who's that? The alien, the witch, or the vampire? Oh, yoo-hoo. Okay, weird. It's Christmas in here. This is the scariest retirement home ever. Where the heck is Granny? Ah, there she is. So, can you give me some advice on getting a man, please? Okay, now that she's had a little time, a little catch up with Granny, I think we're gonna scout the local area for men. Is this a guy? Akira! Let me tell you, this guy has some strong genes. Let's go straight in with the romance. We're not wasting any time here. This guy is a catch. Oh my gosh, first kiss already? It's been like 10 minutes. Ingrid. Okay, that went really well. Let's go back home and initiate the woohooing process. Come on over, Akira. I'll have you guys know that this gentleman right here single-handedly started the entire Disney princess family tree. So hopefully he can give me the beautiful baby I desire. Let's do it. Three days later. It's time to birth the baby. The baby's coming. We'll name her Lada Steinbeetle. Oh, she bald, but does she have the old Steinbeetle nose? There's only one way to find Find out. Ooh, she's got the old Steinbeetle dark hair, I see. Let's bake a cake and see how she ages up. If she has the nose, I'm just giving up. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Look at her little freckles and her hair. I mean, that outfit though, that's a Steinbeetle outfit. Okay, let's age her up again and let's see the final product. <gasps> 
Oh no, I think I see the nose. <laughs> that is the end of the challenge. The horn has been blown. And it's safe to say that we failed. What the heck? I feel like her nose has gotten even bigger. So what do you guys think? Did I win this challenge or lose this challenge? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.